So we're just going to jump right into this and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a headband that takes all my hair out of my face and it really just helps me get everything off 100%, make sure all my skin is clean. <coughs> The first thing I'm going to use is this Garnier Garnier Micellar Water with the Lancome Bifacial Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I love these two products. The Garnier you can get at any drugstore, any convenience store. It's so cheap and it does such a good job. It takes everything off. Um, micellar Water, it's supposed to cleanse your skin, but I don't know. I mean, I think it just does a really good job of taking everything off. I don't really use it as a cleanser. So I'm going to put that on a cotton pad and I'm going to wipe it all away. And you can see like how much it's getting things off. Like you can see on my, my real skin through my makeup and everything. It does a really good job of getting everything off. So I'm going to do that first. This micellar water is literally so good if you have dry skin or any type of skin really. It's really good at neutralizing oils, it's really good at calming the dry skin, it doesn't irritate skin, it's good for sensitive skin. Um, I strongly recommend this. I buy this in bulk at BJ's, like it's so pad like that and you don't even need a lot with this you just need a little bit and it does such a good job literally within like one swipe it takes everything off like you can see the only thing I really have is like the eyeliner and that's just because it's so stubborn but it does come off and like it's just everything like it's so good um I love this it's so expensive though and I usually get this as a free sample that large size that I have actually, I don't know what size it is off the top of my head, but it literally came as a free gift for buying Lancome makeup, which my mom buys all the time from Macy's, so if we're spending the money, we might as well get something out of it, which I always, I really like that Macy's does, um, is that anytime you buy something from their beauty counter, they usually give you a free gift with it, and this happens to be the free gift most of the time, which I think is extremely useful. So I love this. So ew, you can see how gross everything is. Um, <laughs> I'm throwing it out. So what my doctor recommends, my dermatologist, is that I wash my face with Dove soap. So what I do is I put it on a wet cloth, I wet the cloth, and I rub it on my face. And what I usually do after is I've been using this cream cleanser since my skin has been so dry, and the cream really helps it keep moist. <coughs> so I've just taken a shower. I have used, washed my face, I did the Dove soap, and then I did the uh, Grown Alchemist cleanser. Um, I can tag it in the description box below and tell you guys what it is. But you can see how clean my face is now. It's so much more softer than it was when I first took my makeup off. Um, and don't make fun of my glasses. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Ahava Hydration Cream Mask and I'm going to apply it all over my face and leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, I'm using this like spatula tool thing I got from a DIY face mask kit from Primark. It does a really good job of applying any kind of liquid face mask onto your skin. <coughs> the kit also came with a brush and it came with a couple bowls too to put the face mask in. I don't think it was really necessary in my situation so I just kind of like um, applied it onto the spatula and I found it really easy to put it on my face. <coughs> so this is the first time. I am using this face mask. Um, I haven't used it before. This like, but I actually after this, I really did like it. Um, I'm not like one to like first try things on, but um, I am glad FabFitFun had this in their box because I think that like for the winter, your skin gets so dry. It's so hard to find a face mask that doesn't dry it out. I find that sheet mask always dry my face out um except for the Garnier one that was like targeted towards moisture that one did a really good job moisturizing my face but <coughs> I ran out of those so I don't have them I like sheet masks for the summer and for the spring but I like like 
masks that focus on hydration for winter. So I'm just taking this mask and I'm applying it to my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. I'm leaving my upper lip area out um, only because my upper lip is very sensitive. Um, anytime I put like any kind of product really other than moisturizer, it stings and it burns and that's just a very uncomfortable feeling and <coughs> basically if you're doing something like that you shouldn't be applying it if like it feels like it's stinging and it feels like it's burning i wouldn't recommend you applying it to that area of your skin it just doesn't it doesn't work So once I'm done, I'm going to take a wet towel and just take the mask off. They recommend that you doing that instead of as opposed to wiping it off. I'm going to take the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the newest one I've added to their collection. And I'm going to spray it onto my face to lock in the moisture. I love these sprays. I can't live without them. They're literally $7 to $12 depending on the size that you get. I strongly recommend if you're struggling with dry skin to get these. Now I'm going to apply an eye cream. This is the Olay Henriksen Banana Brightening Cream. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes to help my dark circles. I've been struggling with those for a very long time, mostly because I've been up all night studying or doing something, watching TV, whatever. <clears throat> but this does a really, really good job of energizing your eyes. It doesn't make your eyes feel any type of way. I really like this cream a lot. So for the final step, I'm using this Palmer Skin Therapy Rosehip Oil and I'm going to just pat it all over my face and this takes out all the dark spots and it hydrates and <coughs> leaves your skin smelling so fresh and clean. And that was it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up below and please let me know what else you guys would like to see. Have a good night guys.